Welcome back. Great response to the last video, guys. Um, it's still growing in number, so thank you very much for everyone who supported that. And big shout out to all my new subscribers from that video as well. So today we are creating this Valorant webcam overlay. This one here. It's a very simple, nicely animated overlay. Um, great for you Valorant streamers out there. Uh, if you want to get this for free, use the code PZFREE in my store, which is uh, www pztv.com but don't head over there just yet make sure you watch to the end of the video because i created these panels as well and the discount code for these panels is going to be hidden somewhere in the video so let's take a look at the design process now shall we i started the design process by going through uh google images and just looking at different images uh, for inspiration and how i wanted sort of the webcam to look so the document size is 1080, so when I create a shape at the full size of the canvas, it'll keep the aspect ratio of any cameras uh, that we're going to apply this overlay to. So what I'm doing now is I'm creating two shapes. I'll overlay those on top of each other, and the one that's on the front then, I'll subtract that to get the frame. Once I've got the frame shape, I create these two little rectangles, adjust them using the uh, perspective transform. I then duplicate this layer flip it horizontally and apply it to the other side of the webcam overlay as well. Once I have created the webcam frame shape, I create a new layer, get some splatter brushes and then paint over the top of the webcam. Then I mask it out to get the black splatters only appearing on the actual frame itself. I then duplicate the background frame shape, change the color, overlay this with another shape that I've adjusted with perspective subtract that shape to get the contrasting color. After the webcam frame is complete, I go and recreate the Valorant logo by tracing it with the pen tool, and then I put this in a square and place it at the bottom of the webcam. This changes later on, I've actually positioned it down on the bottom right of the camera, and then I animate it. So guys, let's break up the video with a, with a plea. Um, I'm so close to that 100 subscribers, and if you look at this image, then you'll see that less than 24% of you have subscribed. You can hit the sub button now and make dreams come true. All jokes aside, though, if you could hit that sub button, it really does help the channel. Also, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and uh, we'll get back to the design process, the animation next. Then finally, I animate the PSD and After Effects using simple motion tweens and I play around with the easy ease just to make the animations look fluid. So all I'm doing here is simple opacity tweens, rotation tweens, and position tweens. After I'd finished animating the logo, I went in and decided to animate the webcam. And the way I did this was actually by going back into Photoshop, flipping the colors over, then using a transition to reveal one over the top of the other, and then backwards, making sure they're looped perfectly so that there was no glitching in OBS. I exported this then in uh, WebM format and tested it in OBS and it was all working fine. Okay guys, thank you very much for making it this far into the video. If there's anything you'd like to see me design, make sure you drop a comment down below. Also, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.